Hey everybody, Mrs. Buttershawn here. Today we're talking about atomic radii. So first up, what is it? Atomic radii is just how big an atom is when it becomes an ion. So when it goes ahead and it loses or gains its electrons to have a full octet, that's what we're referring to because it will have a charge. It will either be a positive cation or a negative anion, and it will change size from going from neutral to an ion. So there's a general rule to follow. The general rule is, um, if you're gaining electrons, then you're gaining size. In other words, you're increasing the size of your atom. And if you're losing electrons, then you're losing size or you're decreasing the size of your atom. So it does follow with metals and non-metals accordingly because metals will form cations because they're giving away electrons. And if you're giving away electrons, remember you are decreasing in size and non-metals up here as we, um, they will become anions, which means they're uh, taking in or gaining electrons. And if you're gaining electrons, that means you are getting larger in size. So here's an example for you. These are metals. We have sodium and this is neutral. When it becomes a cation, since it is losing electrons, it is getting smaller. Um, same thing with magnesium. Here it is neutral. And then once it becomes a cation, it's losing electrons and therefore it becomes smaller in size. And we can look at our non-metals in contrast. So here we have chlorine, this is a neutral chlorine. And then as soon as we come, become an anion, which means we gained electrons, it is gonna become larger in size. And you can see the same thing happening here with sulfur. It is neutral and it has gained electrons now, becoming an anion, making it a larger atom. So this is just a snapshot, and I want you to understand that trends have exceptions to the rules, right? Not all of them follow the trend exactly. However, you can see this happening. So our metals in a neutral atom are the blue. So that's kind of where they started out. You can see how large they were. And then as soon as they became those cations, they shrunk down to the gray. So you can see that our metals will reduce in size because they are giving away electrons. And then vice versa for our non-metals, we started off with this tan color. And as they became an anion, since they're now gaining electrons, they're getting larger. And that is gonna be the gray area that you see. You can pause this and check it out if you want to. All right, let's try a couple. So which of the following would, you, would uh, have the largest radius and then try to see if you can explain your answer. Pause the video and I'm gonna tell you the answer in just a second. All right, here we go. So focus on electrons first, okay? So sodium has 11 electrons and if we're evaluating how many electrons sodium positive has, it has 10, right? Because it gave one electron away. Therefore, sodium is gonna have um, the largest radius and sodium plus is gonna be a little bit smaller just because 11 is larger than 10. All right, let's go ahead and try this one. This time, I want you to say which one is the smallest radius. Pause your video and we'll go over the answer. Okay, let's go ahead, let's talk this through. So potassium, if you look on the periodic table, it does have 19 electrons in a neutral atom. When we make that a cation, a positive one, we're taking away one of those. So now we have 18 for the uh, potassium plus, right? If you look up sodium on the periodic table, it has 11 electrons and sodium plus then has 10 because we're removing one of those electrons. So it's gonna have the smallest radius of all of them because we can put them in number order, 10, 11, 18, and then 19 would be the largest one. Okay. Try this one. Which one has the smallest radius? Pause. All right, let's look at the answer. If we're looking on the periodic table, oxygen is number eight, so it has eight electrons. And then if we're looking at O negative two, that means it has gained two electrons, so it has 10. So the smaller one is gonna be just neutral oxygen and O2, um, O negative two is going to be larger. All right, try these. Which one um, has the largest radius? Go ahead and pause. All right, let's check out the answer. So sulfur, if you're looking at the periodic table, does have 16 electrons and sulfur negative two has 18 because we've gained two electrons now. Oxygen has eight 
And like we said before, oxygen negative two would then have 10 because we're gaining two. Um, so, so, so oxygen is going to be the smallest, but um, the sulfur negative two is going to have the largest, which is what the question asks for. All right, tricky one here, okay? So atoms, um, sodium plus, magnesium two plus, and aluminum three plus exist. Which of the following would represent those respectively? So here we have atom A, B, and C, and they are a small, medium, and a large atom, and we need to put them in order. So pause this and see if you can figure it out. Okay, let's go ahead. So if you look, um, they are all gonna have the same amount of electrons in their ion form. They're gonna have 10 electrons each. Well, that would mean that hmm, they are all gonna be the same size, right? Not necessarily. We also have to follow the trend. Remember, our trend is down and to the left for metals. These are all metals, so we're evaluating it with a trend. So you can see here we have aluminum positive three, magnesium positive two, and then sodium positive one. So our trend is to the left and down. They're all in the same period, so we're going to the left. Okay, so aluminum would be the smallest, then magnesium and sodium would be our largest one. And that is how you figure that out. I hope this was helpful, you guys. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.